Hello you all, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into uh, Leo, Sun, Moon and as well Rising. Weekly Tarot reading December 28, uh, 2020 to January 3rd, yeah it's January 3rd, 2021. And uh, <clears throat> should you uh, want a personal reading with me guys you can uh, check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to see a full list of my services, uh, rather like you're going to see a link to my website and at the website you're going to see a list of my services and as well their pricing at uh, the very front page. As well, uh, the content of YouTube and Facebook is uh, different. I keep these two channels uh, exclusive to one another. So uh, if you are not following me on Facebook, uh, you can as well might as well check it out. Uh, there, there are daily tarot readings, live streams, astrology posts. So everything that you do not see here that accompanies such kind of a content is there. So the first card for uh, Leo that is going to be the Six of Swords and uh, the way that you are going to enter this week, uh, Leo, it seems that you are going to prepare yourself to do rather brave actions, some kind of a, a things that does take guts. It's, it's almost like you're gonna find fighting against yourself, um, realizing that should you want something to happen, say that you are chasing a goal, a dream, should you want that dream to take place, just daydreaming about it is not enough to do it. And so at the start of the week, it seems that you are going to finally determine yourself to do actions or to take decisions to say something, if you will, that beforehand you were afraid to do so. For the sheer realization here that we do have, it is that, you know, if you don't do it, things are not going to change and it cannot be possibly worse than it is or rather like it cannot fall below the point that you are finding yourself at. For the Six of Swords points that at the start of the week, once again, you're going to find yourself on a, some kind of a, a, a threshold, just like these two people here, uh, swimming towards new shores, which is for them unknown land. So they are a bit afraid what awaits them in that new, uh, in that, uh, new land. But it seems like they were a banished from their old one or they are escaping from their old one. So whatever it is in the, into the new one, it's definitely better than the old one. So my point is that you are going to be afraid speaking up, you're going to be a bit afraid, you know, acting upon, or you're going to be a little bit afraid decising in favor of. But in reality, there will be nothing for you to be afraid of for whatever you do, aside from inaction, is going to improve your circumstances. And that happens at the start of the week itself. And after that, we do have a person that appears, maybe that is the uh, approach or rather like the connection that you are afraid to establish with this person, which is a page of wands. And you're gonna see that in that particular case, page of, that, that person itself, which is marked by the page of wands, is very open-minded. I mean, they're not gonna judge you about anything, but rather, I try to understand you that that's also not a very valid statement here with the page of wands page of wands is like they're open for anything new okay and they are willing to explore your ways they're willing to explore your emotions they're willing to explore your thoughts as well uh one thing about the page of wands it is that they don't really like to be told what to do just like they don't like to tell other people what they have to do right so as they as that person individual is willing to explore your ways you also need to do your part in it what i mean is that you in the relationship that is you also need to put some efforts behind exploring their ways as well for a uh, page of wands could really align with anybody for as long as uh, the page finds interest, interest in it, or rather like the page of wands finds you, that person finds you interesting, and it will do so if you do not first oppress them, second, you do not try to gain control over them, and third, you allow them to explore your world. 
Uh, one last thing about the Page of Wands it is that they seem very strong outside, but they are very fragile from within. What I am saying that, say that that is a potential love interest here that you wanted to approach for quite a while, you never had the guts to do so, but now something happens throughout this week, you realize that if you don't act now, uh, you know, it's or simply you do realize that um, if you don't ask, the answer is going to be no, always, so you don't lose anything by just making your approach and if you are accepted, that's great. If not, you are at least you're going to know that you are not going to lose your time. But the page looks at you and, you know, it kind of like, it doesn't say yes, nor it say no. It wants to explore what you are capable of. And if you do play it a bit rough, the page outside is not going to give you any indication, you know, that they um, are kind of like affected by any ways, by your ignorance, for example, they are not affected by any ways uh, if, you do, if you do neglect them, or if you do kind of like, um, if you will humiliate them in any way, they are just going to walk away without giving any notice. That is because of the strong shell outside and the fragile nature. nature. Uh, from within. Moving next we do have the Queen of Cups and that is another person that comes into the picture and that is someone who stays as a bridge in between you and the page. I would say that that is a mutual friend of yours or a, a co-worker that is in a good terms in either of you and the Queen of Cups it's uh, it's there and that happens halfway mid uh, halfway through the week the Queen of Cups is there to um, pretty much validate or explain to you both, you know, how far you can go together, either on a business venture or either uh, in terms of a relationship. How the way that I'm seeing it right now, that could be, you know, for example, you and your wife, that's kind of like are on the edge a little bit uh, for a while now and that could be your marriage consultant that actually fixes the things around for you both because with the queen of cups this is when you do realize that uh, first of all you have worked very hard to get there and second of all there is no need to pretty much uh, sever ties with that person page of uh, wants but you both can go for a long run in a, and in a harmony as well for the Queen of Cups is going to pretty much align your emotional state in between you and that person as well. It's going to identify for you both what you do feel and uh, you're going to be amazed to realize that you feel almost the same way toward one another. But you needed a third party to actually discover discover that for you both. And uh, the Queen of Wands, that is a, a very discreet individual. So whatever you whatever three of you say to each other, it stays in between three of you. Uh, you may see kind of like emotional support individually from that person, Queen of Cups. Uh, the page could seek individual support as well and whatever you share with the queen is going to be safe not to be shared with the page and vice versa as well. To the queen is like uh, the, this individual that plays the role of the queen of cups which is once again it could be a mutual friend of yours, uh, it could be a co-workers with that kind of like has a good relationship with either of you. It could be a family member as well from your side that you both are running into whenever you do have a, a severe fight, especially if that's, uh, we're talking here about relationship. Whatever that person is, it plays a vital role there and it, it, it's the glue that keeps you tied to the, uh, to the page of wands. Moving next, we do have uh, the Queen of Pentacles and that is another person, Leo, uh, who also plays the role of a... Um, of a glue, but the Queen of Pentacles, it's it's someone who uh, tries to make you see how much potential you yet have to you yet have to unfold with the Page of Wands, and also that if you do abandon the endeavor, 
it will be uh, it will be kind of irresponsible because the standpoint of the Queen of Pentacles it is that if you do have something you have to do whatever you can to protect it and to sustain it as well because it always can grow itself I mean you, you can grow within the framework of it so uh, to me this is a kind of like a peacemaking situation here in between you and an ex or a uh, or a current lover of yours or a husband or a wife or it could be a peacemaking situation in between you and a colleague of yours that you do have into your career, maybe a friend of yours as well, that everybody else that is within this situation uh, unites so it can, it can displays a, a why it's wrong to go against each other rather than together moving forward. Queen of Pentacles, they, that these type of individuals usually do, do not stand out. They do not, or rather like they do not step up into the situation unless uh, they see, I, I would say, reason for it. So it's kind of like they don't mess around with anybody else's business unless they see that a grave mistake is to be done. And then they, when they step in, they pretty much point to you, to me or to whomever the reading is addressed to you know, what you are about to abandon, what kind of a, uh, not just only potential, but as well growth you are about to give up on. And uh, the last card that we do have for you, Leo, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. And uh, by the end of the week, ultimately, it's going to fall upon you to decide what you are going to do. But with the Ten of Swords here, having it at the end, your decision and your actions are going to be uh, how can I say paramount probably it is the word that I was searching for what I mean is that whatever you decide at the end of the week that's going to be and there is no going back so at the end of the week as you do stand in front of decisions should you make it or break it with the page of wands regardless if that's about com common business cumulative business I'm sorry if that regardless if that's about relationship or a friendship if you say no we are not going to be together or we are not going to work together that's going to be it don't expect later down the road in a week or two that page that individual that is signified by the page of wands to come back to you and say have you changed your heart no they are just going to move on so I highly advise you, Leo, when the, when the end of the week comes, take under consideration the guidance and the advice of these two individuals, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. They are the glue, they are the reason, they are those that are open both of your eyes. Because the uh, problems that you may have or the disruptions, I would say, that you may have in this, uh, in this either partnership or relationship here, they're not caused only by you by a large margin. I mean, the page is very difficult character. Uh, as I said, they don't like to be told what to do. They don't listen to anybody and so on and so forth. But uh, at the end, like I said, it will fall to you. To, to make your final decision. And if you do say no, the page is going to accept it. So my point here was that you need to listen to the guidance of these two, uh, of these two individuals for they can open not just only your eyes, but the eyes of the page as well. And it's highly likely, you know, say that you are your husband filed for a divorce and now you're going through the lawyers. These are the two lawyers and they're telling you, both lawyers are telling you um, to both of you, you know that this marriage is not going to end up well and that you should try to, you know, mend the thing and they are displaying why and how they could be the, ter the, the therapists that are working into the marriage consultant thing. These could be the supervisors that are saying to both of you as a co-workers, you know, how much you're going to profit and benefit if you do work together instead of working against each other. And uh, with the Ten of Swords, once you do make your decision, whichever the decision is, is going to provoke a new dawn, a new era in your life. So hopefully you do make it out of logic and out of kind of like a uh, objectiveness rather than out of emotions. The worst thing you can do with the Ten of Swords is act emotionally. Then everybody loses. So that being said, Leo, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys, for a uh, 
December 28, 2020, up to, November, up to January 3rd, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.